why are we in Iraq? We're in Iraq because it's what Israel wants us to do. It's in Israel's interest. It's in the military industrial complex interest because that's really what Israel is. It's just an extension of the MIC. It's not an American interest at all to be in Iraq. We've wasted trillions of dollars. We've killed a million people. We've lost thousands of people and we haven't benefited at all. We're not fighting terrorism. We haven't stopped any terrorists. We haven't prevented a war. Iraq wasn't going to attack the United States. Iraq had the capacity to attack Israel and that is why we're there. And why are we after Iran? Same reason. It's Israel. And it's the Israeli cabal that's shouting the hardest to go to war with Iran. Their smoking laptop that Mossad made. Their claims about uh, Ahmadinejad saying he wanted to wipe Israel off the map, which he didn't say. All, all of it's Israel. It's Israel's interest. It's why we go to war with Iran. It has nothing to do with the United States. The U.S. doesn't benefit at all by blowing the piss out of Iran. We can't afford it. It's immoral, and there's no reason for it. And yet, the neocons, and well, they've jumped back to their original liberal left roots, but it doesn't matter. Obama, Bush, doesn't matter. Same people, same foreign policy. They want the Zionist agenda, and that's to go knock out all of Israel's rivals. They want Iran, they want Syria. They already got Iraq. You know, they're messing with Pakistan because they got to get rid of that before they can go into Iran. The Israelis want war with Iran, nobody else. It's their propaganda, it's their war, let them fight it. Americans don't need to die for Israel, and we don't need to go broke for Israel. Stop all aid to Israel. They're a racial, fascist apartheid. They have racial colonies, they're colonizing their neighbors, they have a giant military occupation in Palestine, and of course there's violence from Palestine. You'd have to be insane to expect any other result from a military occupation. Obviously, people attack after you demolish their homes and shoot their kids. I mean, what, what do you think would happen? Israel is the modern Nazi state. There's not another place on earth that openly builds racial colonies. They're breaking so many UN resolutions and they'd be breaking scores more were it not for the U.S., which votes alone, 141 to 1 sometimes, protecting Israel's interests. Why does Israel have the U.S. by the short hairs? Because they're blackmailing our politicians. It's not just the money they make from the wars and the profiteering. It's the blackmail. And some of it's religious rhetoric. They believe it's God-ordained land for the Jews and blah, blah, blah. I mean, they're Christian Zionists, but... That just doesn't explain enough. It's their grip over the media and their blackmail of blackmailing of politicians. That's why they do it. So we got to vote them all out. We need to audit the Fed. We need to end the wars. We need to stop aid to Israel. These are Israel's wars. That's why we're there. That's why we're going to start another one. No more wars for Israel. I've done about all one person can do about this. I wrote a book right here, had the APAC case in here. It doesn't matter, there was no trial. I've written uh, blogs, articles, op eds. I've been on radio stations, I've been on GCN, RBN, I've been on podcasts, I made a movie, um, done everything possible. I mean, writing, speaking, filming just to get this message out. You can watch my movie for free. It's called War by Deception. You can order my book if you want. Um, it doesn't matter. I mean, most of the stuff in my book is on my website somewhere anyway. If you don't want to pay you know, any money, it's fine. I'm going to need you guys' help. Start promoting these films. Start joining the forum. We've got to get the message out. Most moral people and you can just ignore the religious zealots and Israeli firsters who will never ever change their mind. They don't care. You can show them the kids killed with depleted uranium and the white phosphorus and they don't even care. It's just like subhumans to them. So it doesn't matter. But most normal, rational, moral people, typical American on the street, after they're made aware of what's going on, will be so pissed off once they learn the truth. 
They're going to learn to despise Israel and hate what our government has been doing in compliance with the Israeli government. All it takes is breaking this media monopoly. The news doesn't report it, and that's why people don't know. They never go beyond the news to look for anything, because they assume if something's there to be said, it'll be on the news. Let's get the films out. Get peace propaganda in the promised land out there. Get war by deception out there. And don't waste your time on these paths to nowhere, this Illuminati, Freemason, Kukri crap. Just space aliens and stuff. Just ignore that. Those guys are... It doesn't even warrant an explanation. It's so dumb. You just ignore those people. Ignore them. Promote films that talk about actual people and events that have happened that can be proven and shown and not just conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theory is one thing when it's based on facts. It's another when it's just based on conjecture. And what I have is in conjecture, it's facts. We know that we were lied into war. We know about all the profiteering. And we know the official story of 9-11 is bunk. And we know that there were truck bombs. And we know that the anthrax was sent internally. And you can trace back where these things came from, where the lies originated, and where the new lies are coming from right now. It's got to end. We've got to end these wars. We simply can't afford it. If you're not moral enough to think that killing millions of people for no reason is wrong all by itself, then think of it like this. The trillion dollars that the Pentagon is spending a year, and it's far beyond what the Department of Defense spends. It's a lot more agencies than that. It's something we simply can't... We, we don't have it. We don't have the money. And it's going to be hurting your family. And it's not just, you know, these housing bubbles that... You know, if we spent the money that we had spent on these bailouts and these wars as this giant tax credit, people would be able to pay off their mortgages and people would be, we'd be out. We'd be out of debt. Our country would be out of debt. But instead, we go on these imperial escapades and we bail out billionaires and we leave the bill to the common man. we got to pay all that debt to these central banks that have been racking it up and we've got to pay for this imperialism, which we do not benefit from at all. There's not one plus side to our wars. Nothing. We've got nothing out of it. A little bit higher gas prices and giant debts and a lot of people are dead. And a lot of other people are handicapped. And that's all that's come of it. it Israel needs to go fuck itself. Plain and simple. And it's not anti-Semitic to oppose Israel. It's actually inhumane to support Israel. Because Israel has racial colonies. And Israel is leading us to war. There's not any... There's no number of propaganda or a way to spend it spend it away. Israel is an apartheid regime. We don't need to be in a war in Iraq. We don't need to war start a war in Iran. We don't need to be bombing Pakistan. Barack Obama is Israel's whore. And uh, we're stuck with him for the next four years. And our Congress is Israel's whore, but if we put enough pressure on them, they're going to change. And step one in all of this is auditing the Fed, because that's where they get most of their money. To so support HR 2107 and HR 718.